Well, at the ongoing World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Indian companies are also present in good numbers. The companies are trying to attract investors and are hopeful about the resilience of Indian economy amidst all the gloom and doom in the world. One such company is Godreg Industries and Weon's business editor, Sumit Chaturvedi, caught up with its chairman, Nadir Godreg. Watch. We are here at World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Indian companies are also here in good numbers. One such conglomerate here is uh, with us, Mr. Uh, Nadir Godrej, Chairman, Godrej Industries. So thanks for talking to us, first of all. What have you seen, what is your feeling so far for Davos World Economic Forum? Right. The Indian presence is very large here in Davos. Everywhere you go, you see Indians. And many multinational companies also have Indians representing them at the top. So there are lots of Indians here. As India is leaving the G20 this year, the, the, every, the world is looking to India. And uh, we are in front of the India Lounge where many people are gathering. Many ministers from India, chief ministers from India are expected to come here as well. And I'm looking forward to all the discussions and I'm looking forward to India in the G20 helping the world to overcome its problems. So t uh, talking about the feeling here, many problems are being faced by world economy. Recession is one, supply chain challenges. Uh, how do you think these problems are going to be solved? Are you worried about them? Of course we are worried about them and there have been many protests in Davos because there's not enough action taken to solve the problems. The biggest problems of course are climate change and inequality. And uh, we need to, education is a big solution for inequality and very strict, quick action in reducing carbon emissions is very important. We need some incentives or disincentives to encourage all of us to do it with a level playing field. But it is very clear that adapting to climate change is going to be more expensive than preventing it. We better get on to preventing it. So talking about uh, overall uh, India's role in world economy. So at a time there is a gloom and doom around the world economy. Do you think India uh, presents a ray of hope in that scenario? Certainly. There is a pan crisis in the world. We had COVID, we had the Russian-Ukraine war, we had the commodity boom caused by the war. Of course, the commodity boom has dissipated. We are coming out of the pandemic, but uh, there was an inflation problem and the world is facing recession. But India is still growing at 6 to 7 percent, which is a bright spot in the world. It's the fastest growing large economy in the world. And uh, let's hope that India can help other economies recover too. The budget is coming now. Uh, what are your hopes? Uh, do you think it's going to be big bank budget because it's first before the next year elections? Uh, I'm not so sure that uh, the last few budgets have been pretty normal. The budget is no longer the important event it used to be. Uh, the budget deficit is slowly coming under control. And I'm not particularly worried about the budget deficit. I think the government will make sure that it spends money on things that grow the economy so that the debt to GDP ratio doesn't go higher, even if there is a deficit. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Sir. Thank you. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.